Oh, it's the SO6 Chase qualifier now then, and 12 in this one. And let's take a look at the list of the runners. When it comes up, I'm sure it won't be much longer. There we go. There's two more seven furlongs again, 0 to 120. And the top one is alive and kicking for Martin Leedham, Sponge Bandit for Ryan Costello. Time to leave Craig Beckwith in to win. David Hooley, Gallagher Origin for Martin Leedham, Whistling Sarah for Darren Thompson, Rampant Lion. Alex Cherry, Georgia O'Keefe, Paul Rhodes, Double Diamond, Works Wonders for Graham Clutterbuck, Tullamore Sloan for Daniel French, Vimiero Domini for Thomas Rogers, and Whenever Dragoon for Alex Cherry. So a dozen of them then. The chase course is just as quirky as the hurdles course, and away they go. And again, they won't go up straight until the end. And the grey alive and kicking looks like he's going to take it up. Gets over the first in the lead. Mistake by whenever Dragoon. And that has indeed allowed alive and kicking to take over the lead. Undisputed as they get over number two. And we've lost one there. Tullamore Sloan has gone. So an early departee at the second as they get two to third. And over that one they're all still on their feet the other side of it. With alive and kicking the clear leader by two lengths to whenever Dragoon in second. Then Time to Leave on the inside is third, Door Diamond is fourth, and Whistling Sarah after that one is fifth. Down on the near side, Vittori Dom Vim or Vimiero Domini in the green jacket, then two in the purple, Gallagher Origin and in to win with Georgia O'Keefe on their outside. And then the back two are Sponge Bandit and Rampant Lion as we play hide and seek in the trees for a little while. And a lion and kicking is still in the lead when we emerge from the little wood and alive and kicking and doing some front running for the last few weeks but not been able to stay in front We're running over a slightly shorter trip today as they come down to the fourth which they're all safely over although Gallagher Origin did not jump it all that well at all and he's now the back marker Gallagher Origin returning from last season won the big hunter chase at the Cheltenham Festival last season didn't jump like that when he did that and Georgia O'Keefe has just run straight into that fence didn't even attempt to take off so another fall of a Paul Rhodes as that one is out of the race and alive and kicking is in the lead the Leedham Towers stable are top and tail in the race with the new colours on alive and kicking in the lead and the colours from last season and the five or six seasons before on Gallagher Origin at the back as they take number six which is the water and they're all safely over that one we have a live and kicking clear by a good three over the next plain one a mistake there by the uh, Graham Clutterbuck horse Double Diamond and Whistling Sarah was a faller so these fences are catching them out and Double Diamond again was down on his nose it looks like he may have had one or two too many double diamonds because he doesn't seem to be able to stand up at the minute as they get to the ninth and over that one they go could jump at the back there by Vimiero Domini has seen that one go past the couple but it's still alive and kicking in the lead then with a mile and a half to go and whenever Dragoon is tucked in behind that one in second gap of four lengths then to time to leave in third and sponge bandits move through nicely into fourth double diamond is trying to get going again after those two mistakes then rampant line is after that and then a little gap to in to win and vimiero domini and gallagher origin doesn't appear to be on a going day today at all so alive and kicking by a length they've got a mile and a quarter still to go Whenever Dragoon put up on the outside of the leader, it's probably only half a length down now. The pack are beginning to close on the leading pair. At the tenth, oh, what a lineman kicking his turn this time to get right down on his nose. Didn't jump that at all well and has surrendered the lead to Whenever Dragoon. So whenever Dragoon it is then in front of the net as they get to this ditch better jump that time by alive and kicking good jump in the back of the field there by in to win and seeing that one get into a much closer order as well but the race is beginning to take shape now uh, alive and kicking's under a bit of pressure whenever dragoon appears to be going the best of the leading two the three chasing behind seem to be going well and so do the rest of them as well but whenever dragoon and alive and kicking will take this turn and make their way towards the business end of the race then whenever dragoon is in the lead 
from Alive and Kicking who's trying to fight back for the lead on the inside. They come to this fourth last, which is the water jump, but Alive and Kicking jump back in front whenever Dragoon is now trying to close again. Just three more fences to take. And Alive and Kicking, whenever Dragoon, double diamond. This is the third last. And double diamond went right through the top of it again. Into win is now making a forward move. And time to leave looks to be going really well. Over the second last they go. And Alive and Kicking is over in front. Whenever Dragoon is second, double diamond rallying on the flat. Then time to leave. Rampant line is still four furlongs to go and only one fence to jump. This is the final fence. Over it they go. And now whenever Dragoon takes it up, four furlong running. It's almost like a race on its own, isn't it? And look at this Sponge Bandit. Sponge Bandit thinks it's a five furlong sprinter and it suddenly burst into the lead. It's Sponge Bandit who's quickly gone three or four lengths clear of whenever Dragoon in second. Look at Gallagher Origin who was totally out of it before he's now starting to run on as well. But it's Sponge Bandit and Gallagher Origin from Double Diamond. Then whenever Dragoon, the, the main body of the field is in a bit of a clump. But Sponge Bandit has totally slipped the field here. And well inside the final two furlongs, Sponge Bandit with no more obstacles in the way is going to be very difficult to catch. This is going to be a winner for Ryan Costello I think because nothing is coming out of the pack to chase him. Gallagher Origin has moved into second but it's going to be Sponge Bandit all the way I think well inside the final furlong past the half furlong point and Sponge Bandit is going to take it for Ryan Costello what a strange race Sponge Bandit the winner then Gallagher Origin was second Rampant Lion is going to be third then comes time to move fourth then whenever Dragoon and I think Dual Diamond are into win may end up being last but what a strange race that was if one or two of them making some mistakes Gallagher Origin looked right out of it at the back and Sponge Bandit what a jumped that final fence and then just came alive. It's almost like he turned into a sprinter. So, Sponge Bandit, whether that's Ryan Costello's first win of the season, but well done anyway, whether it is or isn't. Sponge Bandit for Ryan Costello, the winner, through to the final as well. Gallagher Origin for Martin Leland was second. Rampant line for Alex Cherry was third. Time to leave Craig Beckwith fourth. And whenever Dragoon for Alex Cherry was fifth.